This is the Sonoscape S8 ultrasound machine. As you can see, it's very small and it has a tiltable flat screen on the front, big handle up top. two transducer ports. Main power, and this is where the power cord goes in. We have a ground, ECG leads, video in and out, foot switch, and a printer port. So inserting the transducers, you hold it by the switch, push and twist. Set it in. Hold it by the switch, push, and twist, very simply. On the side, we have our S-Video, VGA out, networking and USB ports, and audio out. So here's the uh, latch. Just pull it aside, and then you can open it right up. and we have the flat panel monitor and the keyboard. The keyboard is very logically laid out. The QWERTY keyboard is almost full size. It's very easy to function. It's all set up around the trackball. This is where your hand will be most of the time. So your trackball functions are uh, the trackball and the set key. They're the ones you'll use the most. And then otherwise you have your update, zoom, and then your calculation buttons up here, your measurement and calculations. B mode gain, and Doppler gain are very close to the trackball, so very centrally located in your main mode buttons. So right above the main mode buttons, M mode, B mode, tissue harmonics, color flow mapping, Doppler power imaging, tissue Doppler imaging, pulse wave, continuous wave, we have the control buttons for those. So focus changes your focal zones on the system, depth, pulse repetition frequency, baseline, and steering for your Doppler. Over on the right we have the TGCs and your freeze button. There's also a menu key that's dual function. You can press the menu button to select what you have scrolled to with the dial. Soft keys on the top will be associated with keys that change depending on what mode you're in on the bottom of the screen and some can be configurable. This is your overall audio output of the instrument. We begin, we select our exam type, we enter our patient name, and we have our image orientation, left, right, up and down, dual. This is our annotation and our body markers, and flow invert. This is associated with your spectral and color flow Doppler. M tuning is the one button image optimization for the system. Save, video, print, and print. This is how we store our images over here. And our reporting. Deleting and clearing is something that sort of has a circle around it, so you can be careful not to do that by accident. So now we'll power the system on. It may be a little bit longer than what you're accustomed to with other machines, because this is a very much software-driven system. So now we'll just begin exam. Patient. Let me type in the patient name. Okay, and then we, then we hit the enter button to move through the different fields, date of birth. You can also select a previous patient that was already in the system to continue on with their study. When we're ready to begin the exam, we simply come down and select the save button. If you hover the trackball over the transducer, it gives you a selected set of presets that are already in the instrument and then you can create your own custom presets as well very simply. So for instance if we're going to do a vascular exam we hover over the vascular transducer come down to carotid and then hit the set key and it automatically turned on the vascular transducer and is ready to go.